Harris County DA's office is sending out a very strong message that it will not tolerate those who serve alcohol to underage patrons. Three people have been charged with providing alcohol to 20-year-old Veronica Rivas. Rivas was charged with two counts of intoxication manslaughter for that February 28th crash. Prosecutors say she was nearly three times the legal limit when she crashed into a car, killing Shayla Joseph and her infant. Our Andy Sirota joining us now with a look at three additional people charged in this case. Andy? Bill, we checked, and this bar here behind me has no prior violations for serving alcohol to minors. Tonight, arrest warrants have been issued for 23-year-old John Medina and the bar owner's son, 24-year-old Devin Jackson. Prosecutors also tell us they are working on issuing one for a bartender. 20-year-old Veronica Rivas indicted on two counts of intoxication manslaughter in connection to a crash on the Gulf Freeway feeder road that killed Shayla Joseph and her three-month-old son, Braylon. Prosecutors say before the crash, Rivas and her friend were served tequila at the Crescent City Connection Sports and Oyster Bar in Clear Lake. They also charged a bartender, 40-year-old Amy Allen. She's accused of allowing Rivas and her 17-year-old friend to drink alcohol without checking their IDs. The bar owner's son, 24-year-old Devin Jackson, along with 23-year-old John Medina, are charged with buying and giving the two girls margaritas at the bar, knowing they were underage. I'm the manager. You're the manager? Yes. May I get your name? No, you don't need my name. The bar's manager told us she had no comment and told us not to come back to her establishment. Prosecutors say Rivas was twice the legal limit at the time. The charges are the work of a new task force working with agencies like TABC, focusing on deadly drunk driving crashes. The charges today, I hope that they instill fear in every single person's heart that serves alcohol. I hope that this causes people to be more responsible. Medina is also charged with aggravated perjury, accused of lying to a grand jury. We are also told that this bar could face additional penalties. Prosecutors also say that Rivas and her friend had been to two other bars that same day as well and are now investigating that part of the case. Reporting live tonight in Clear Lake, Andy Sirota, KPRC Channel 2 News. Tragic all the way around, Andy. Thank you, sir.